Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking about something called clickers. Clickers is essentially like clickers but without clickers. Instead we use something called QR codes or quick response codes. You can print out these quick response codes via the website flickers.com. They kind of look like this. Now there's two pieces of really important information on this uh, QR code and one is the um, number in the corner. Uh, you're going to see um, whenever we go into the website you're going to be assigning each one of your students a, a number so um, that will tell you what student gets what QR code. And the next thing you're going to notice is on each side there is an answer. Now it's an A, B, C, D or true and false assessment. So um, how the student actually tells you what their answer is is by holding their um, what they think is correct up on top. So this person is selecting D. So they would be holding their QR code up with the um, answer that they think it is. Before you actually go through with all this though, you need to actually go to Plickers.com and you need to set up your classroom. So first thing you need to do is create an account on Plickers.com and then you're going to go where it says classes. You can either edit classes that you already have or create a new class. Whenever you click on that, you're going to see uh, the students inside your class and you can assign them the number. That was where it was really important on the um, QR code to actually pay attention to what number um, is given to what student. After you do that, you can go to your library. And in your library, you're going to create your quizzes. There's no way to easily upload uh, questions into your uh, library. You're just going to have to type them out. However, you will see on here that you can um, archive questions. So if something isn't relevant anymore or you might want to just come back to it in the future, you can archive the question so you don't need to type it again in the future. So after you do that, then you're ready to actually give your quiz. So your kids have their QR codes in hand and you pop this live view up on the smart board, Promethean board, projector, whatever you have in your classroom, uh, and they pick their answer. You are going to need to download Plickers onto your smartphone or tablet, whatever you have. It can be your personal uh, device or a school device. Um, once you open up Plickers, um, you're going to need to select your class and then select the question that you are asking the student. You're going to then hit the camera button and it's going to scan everybody in your class. It's going to look something like this on your phone. So you can see here, um, they've already started scanning. You can tell uh, that um, once it says their name on the screen, it's actually picked up the QR code. So it's doing this job. Um, up here, it will even show you who's answered, who hasn't answered, who's answered incorrectly is in red. So Cersei, Queen Cersei is not doing so well. But uh, Hodor, of course, is doing just fine. So he has um, gotten the correct answer there. We'll give you a nice little graph here um, showing you um, how many people have gotten it right, how many people have gotten it wrong, and it will tell you the total number of responses that you've seen so far and how many people that still need to respond. So that's um, for a really quick assessment. You can then do, go on to plickers.com and actually see um, the reports again later. So if you actually want to write down that uh, who got it right and wrong in your grade book, that's the way to do that. Now, the other thing I wanted to make sure I mentioned was whenever you're moving to a different uh, question, uh, you need to just go onto your phone and you're going to uh, hit the check mark. So on here, you can't really see. Um, yeah, you can, um, the little check mark there. Uh, you're gonna click on that and it will give you kind of a summary on your phone. I know you can't really see it here, but it will give you a summary on your phone um, about how everybody did. And you're just gonna need to go back one screen, choose the next question, and that's actually going to move your live view to the next question. So you don't need to be on your computer to switch to the next question. It's gonna be all controlled then by your phone. So if you have any questions about how to use clickers, uh, please feel free to email me. I look forward to seeing you use them in your classroom. Thanks.